Now that spring's well and truly in the air, what better way could there be to celebrate that welcome fact than with a nice traditional wax of your car? So keep it locked to see how to best make your pride and joy shine in the sun like no other. So with the miserable winter weather now thankfully gone, Japanese car care company Soft99, who are renowned for their wide range of paste waxes, wanted to know if I fancy getting to grips with a few of them, as they reckon there's no better time of year to be boosting the gloss and shine of your car, and I tend to agree so went ahead and took delivery of three of their waxes, ranging from completely natural to fully synthetic, to put to use on my outdoor kept Japanese test mule, and considering it hasn't been treated to any kind of dedicated protection in the year or so I've owned it, and was currently covered in cac, made perfect sense to treat it to a quality paste based spring spruce up. I'd also taken delivery of a few other wash and decontamination products to get the car adequately cleaned and prepped prior to waxing, which is important if you want to bring about the best possible results. But before putting any of those to use, I thought I'd give you a heads up about Soft 99's Spring Wax landing page, as it's packed with easily digestible info covering the entire protective range that allows you to quickly compare, contrast and choose appropriate products based on your individual needs and wants. So although I'll likely be referring to it throughout here, do check it out for yourself at waxes.soft99.eu. uk now, although wheels don't generally come to mind when waxing, I've been rocking these fake Ferrari ones for the best part of a year now and wanted to rotate them to even the tyre wear. So thought, why not wax them over while they were off, which obviously meant treating them to a decent decon wash first, which was easier for me to do on the car at this point. So after an initial pre-rinse, they were sprayed over with Soft 99's potent iron terminator, which is suitable for use on both lacquered wheels and body panels, before being left to soak in it for a few minutes. And while I knew there wouldn't be a huge amount of bleeding as these surfaces are fairly regularly maintained, it was still worth a quick application just to ensure I wouldn't be waxing over any embedded contamination later on. The wheels were also thoroughly contact washed using the supplied shampoo, a small mitt and a few soft brushes to neutralise the previously applied chemical and clean up all visible parts of them so that once rinsed off and subsequently removed for waxing would only realistically need to be wiped down. The rest of the car was then thoroughly pre-rinsed off and I chose not to use any kind of pre-wash or snow foam here as the dirt was sat on a layer of superficial protection built up from previous post-wash maintenance sprays so knew a simple pressure wash would displace the vast majority of it. However, if your car is more deeply ingrained with dirt then I'd advise using something like a general purpose cleaner, traffic film remover or citrus degreaser along with a snow foam if possible to help cut through that prior to making physical contact. A strong mix of the creamy shampoo was then used to thoroughly wash the body to remove any remaining dirt that the pre-rinse hadn't. And while it's a good idea to use a dedicated decon soap prior to protecting, which this pH neutral wax friendly shampoo isn't, I still had the stronger chemicals and clay bars to follow up with afterwards so wasn't too concerned about stripping the paintwork just yet. And while it goes without saying that you should always try to work in cool shaded conditions if possible, 
The spring sun had decided to make an appearance here despite not being forecast, but there wasn't a great deal I could realistically do about that, so just cracked on with the thorough contact wash and a subsequent rinse regardless, hoping to show that if I can make these products work in disadvantageous conditions, then just imagine what you could potentially do in far more favourable ones. So the iron terminator was then applied to the body of the freshly washed CRZ to dislodge and dissolve any stubborn metallic contamination, which unsurprisingly on a car owned by a professional sponge jockey there was hardly any of, but it's still worth doing just in case, and from a pre-wax perspective, even if there's no iron to attack, it will still serve to break down any previously applied protectants, which is exactly what you want. And as you can see from the complete lack of water repellency on the bonnet here, it served to do quite well. A clay bar will go on to further deep clean and decontaminate paintwork and Soft 99 soft egg stuff will remove things like tar spots, tree sap, deeply ingrained dirt you can't see with your naked eye and any remaining embedded iron. And again if your paintwork isn't particularly heavily contaminated, a clay bar treatment will still serve to effectively strip any previously applied protectants and ensure that it's not only as smooth as glass or an egg in this case but also free from anything that might inhibit the ability of a fresh wax to properly bond. And it's of course important to use plenty of lubrication in the form of water, a detail spray or even better a dedicated clay lube to keep any abrasive impact it has on the surface to a minimum. Lastly then, Soft 99 solvent based silicon off spray can be used as a final means to ensure everything is free from grease, oil, previously used chemical residues and whatever else. And after being sprayed over the surface should simply be wiped off with a clean fresh towel to leave a crystal clear smear free finish. Now, much like other isopropyl alcohol based paddle wipe type products, the vast majority of this stuff will flash off but it's still important to thoroughly wipe it over afterwards to ensure anything it served to break down on the surface is fully removed prior to waxing. And if you're concerned about cross-contamination with surrounding parts from a direct application, you can of course apply it onto the towel before wiping it over the surface instead. So once adequately cleaned, decontaminated and stripped, you can then move on to laying down some fresh protection to improve gloss, slickness and shine. I started with the compact bonnet here which was split into three sections so I could gauge the finish of each of the products alongside each other and kicked off with the Authentic Premium which is a completely natural high carnauba content wax designed primarily to deliver a nice organic shine. Once out of its snazzy presentation box you'll find a handy tin popper and residue removal tool as well as soft applicator pad which was primed with some of the neutral smell and paste before being dabbed then spread over the surface. And while I generally like to use a combination of circular and flowing motions when applying a wax, Soft 99 recommends back and forth movements to ensure even coverage so try to follow that advice for the most part here. After being worked over the surface it was left to dry for a good 5 minutes as while 10 is really the preferred time for this product, didn't want to push my luck in the direct sun so went ahead and buffed off the haze which was a pretty straightforward affair, especially with these plush double density towels that I'd deliberately chosen for their ability to cut through the dry residue traditional products like these can leave. And the finish this natural wax left post buff got me excited to see what the others had to offer. As if there were anything like this in terms of slickness and gloss, then the 10 year old CRZ was in for an absolute treat. 
Next up was the hybrid Kawami wax, or extreme as the name translates to in Japanese, which contains a blend of both natural corn oil and synthetic compounds designed to give the best of both worlds in terms of shine and durability. I had the dark version for my Milano Red Honda here, but the Soft 99 landing page mentioned earlier will let you know which version best suits your car. Again, this comes with its own sponge applicator pad, which was twisted in the tin before being worked over the centre section of the bonnet. And while I wasn't sure how a hybrid blend would feel on the surface, was hard to tell any difference between this and the fully natural one applied before, which I personally saw as a good thing. As with the authentic premium, this Kawami wax should be left to dry or cure for between 5 and 10 minutes prior to being buffed. And while it was certainly more visible on the surface than the complete Carnauba was, buffed off with the same relative ease with any light dust being locked up within the luxurious fibres of the plush double density towel. I'd cack handedly caught the plastic trim at the top of the bonnet with a bit of excess Kawami, so put the residue removal tool to use on it, which to be honest I was a bit dubious about, but it worked surprisingly well at dislodging it from the grain of the 10 year old trim, as it did for releasing trapped residue from other parts of the car, so would definitely recommend keeping it to hand if you choose the authentic premium product it comes with. The fully synthetic mirror shine which is formulated to save time while delivering excellent levels of shine was then used to finish off the final section of the bonnet. And unlike the other two waxes, this one is applied with a microfiber towel which again is included in the pot. And I've got to admit that I wasn't too sure about waxing with a microfiber as I thought it might lead to uneven or excessive application. But Soft 99 clearly know what they're doing, as it worked wonders and spread over the surface like Japanese butter. It was definitely the clearest of the three on the surface, and with zero dry time, which is a huge selling point of this wax, you can crack on with buffing it straight off, which was a big help for me here. And while I thought it might smear a bit when being removed, as it was still essentially wet, buffed off a treat which I thought was pretty impressive considering I was working outside in the sun. So once each section had been adequately treated, the masking tape was pulled off so I could finger fetch away any built up residue as well as give all areas of the bonnet one last buff, which I did with a fresh towel to prevent any kind of result skewing cross contamination. And while it was difficult to visibly discern any difference here, we'll say that to me the Kawami in the middle appeared to give the best gloss. The authentic premium left the surface feeling the most slick, and the mirror shine was by far the nicest to use. I then moved on to treat a full side of the car again to see how the waxes looked alongside each other, this time with a panel gap between them instead of tape, and because the sun beats down on this side of the car while it's parked up here, so hoped a healthy coating of wax might help to slow any unsightly bleaching, which Unfortunately, Honda's Milano Red is known for, so sorted the front wing with the natural car but the door with the hybrid blend and the rear quarter with the fully synthetic. And while the same was pretty much to be said as before in terms of application, removal and finish for all three, I thought it was only fair to you, the viewer and Soft99 the sponsor, that I treat at least a few different areas of the car with the waxes, just in case my initial impressions towards them shifted. To reset my eyes from the glossy redness, I then went on to wax a few of the vinyl wrapped roof panels to see how each of them would fare on a completely different material, and although I wasn't necessarily expecting them to, all three paste based products spread over and buffed off the black plastic orange peel surprisingly well despite it being considerably hotter than the red paintwork 
which was both pretty impressive and good to know if you have gloss wrapped bits or even a fully gloss wrapped car that you'd like to wax in the same manner as you would an unwrapped one. The only thing I would say is to take it easy around any exposed edges as aside from the zero cure mirror finish, a traditional wax could serve to dry its adhesive out and potentially cause it to lift if it happened to get underneath. But other than that, waxing vinyl with any one of these three products should, as you can see, be a pretty straightforward affair. I then finished up with the body of the CRZ by throwing another material into the mix in the form of the carbon fibre wing which is obviously lacquered like the paintwork, but cheaply made aftermarket parts like this can be susceptible to UV damage in my experience. And much like the rest of the car, this part does see a lot of sun in the summer months, plus it's a big feature, so it should ideally pop as much as the paintwork, which I was hoping a final coat of the uncomplicated mirror finish the pure authentic premium and the clever hybrid Kiwami would make it do. And if you stick around for the after shots towards the end of the video, can judge for yourself whether they succeeded or not. With the wheels having been removed off camera for tyre rotation, took the opportunity to slap some wax on them round the back so that once replaced they wouldn't let the side down in terms of shine. So after a thorough silicon off spray and a fairly thorough wipe down with a general purpose towel to ensure the main areas of the faces and barrels were clean, reached for the mirror shine product one last time as while I really should have applied a different wax to each wheel, just couldn't resist the time saving appeal of this fully synthetic stuff which if you're familiar with will likely understand especially considering it offers roughly the same durability as the other two waxes. So went ahead and worked it over the directional looking rims with the provided applicator towel before buffing its residue off with another fresh one to leave a nice slick feeling smear free finish that would hopefully come to life a bit more once back on the car. Now, although it wasn't part of the original package, I finished up with some of Soft 99's tyre wax, which I thought made perfect sense, as although the pigmented product doesn't serve to shine tyres in any way, it does thoroughly protect them, and while it can be a bit tricky and potentially messy to apply, whether that be with an applicator pad or a brush, it's worth persevering with if you prefer a subtle factory finish that will bead up just like freshly protected paintwork. Following application it's important to buff off any excess with either a cheap or a downgraded towel and to wipe over the edge of the rim or you'll be catching the cross contamination in the days and weeks following and thinking you've scuffed them up. But either way, with the wheels and tyres now topped up with soft 99 stuff, reckon that was probably enough waxing for me to then go on to conclude and share my thoughts. So it's been a while since I properly waxed a car, but doing so here was a nice reminder of how satisfying the process is and how impressive the results can be as there's nothing quite like a quality paste wax to take even unpolished and sun bleached panels like these to a whole new level of gloss, slickness and shine. I was chuffed with the real world finish all of the waxes gave here but I'd say the natural Cornorba based authentic premium is the one for the purists who don't mind sacrificing a bit of durability and robustness of protection in return for an unparalleled organic glow. The Kiwami hybrid is for those that aren't willing to compromise, as provided you properly apply it will give you the best of both worlds. And for those who want something quick and easy or are perhaps new to the world of waxing then the mirror shine is definitely the one for you. But either way all three boast up to 3 months worth of durability which assuming you maintain your car on a somewhat regular basis at this time of year should be more than enough. So let me know which of the three waxes featured here potentially tickles your fancy. Don't forget to check out the rest of the range at waxes.soft99.eu slash UK. 
that's all from me but thanks once again to soft 99 for the support and of course to you as always for watching